and Merry Christmas. Okay. And then uh, if you look at our, I have done as a slight update no, on the requirements of your uh, no, of your uh, first performance assessment. No? If you, you pass, by the way, all the files, no, not just the HTML, you also pass the images, no, uh, the CSS. Okay, if you have a video, you pass, you include it in the zip file. No? And then uh, if you use SAS, no, you include it in the zip file also. Have you tried it already? I don't think I need to discuss it anymore because this is our last time, our last meeting, no? And the video is shorter, no? Than the presentation, no? That if that I, I, I will make, no? So anyway, I'd like you to look at the video, no? And then study the, the, form, the, the different functions, no? On how to use SAS are outlined in, you know, So how to use variables, it's there, no? And then functions using mix in mix ins, no. You can have SAS functions, numeric functions, no. And then uh, how to import, no. Se se separate them into files, no. Mix ins, ito no? mix ins. And then we have uh, how to call functions, no. Using the include, no. Add include, okay. And so on and so forth, no. So pwede natin in-nest, no? Yung nesting ng SAS. It's all in the video. It's a very good video, no? So I'd like you to... Have you seen it already, everyone? Kayo na lang titingin. It's a high school topic, no? So I'm sure you can manage this, no? However, I have included also flex a grid. Flex, no? In the grid. Lang, no? uh, the, the rubrics, no? Hindi lang kasi grid, no? You could also include flex boxes. Okay? Do you follow? Uh, okay. We have, I have complete refer references on the display property and I have uploaded them to our class. No? In, diver, in, except in, in case we don't finish the, no, the whole topic. No? So everything we don't finish will be your reading assignment okay so last meeting we discussed formatting of tables no styling of tables no and we also passed font awesome no it's it's not yet you know it's a, uh it's not formally css but it's, these are used to style your font your icons no the i tags no we also have discussed that okay and then there are examples no and then you can change the color of your icons using the span. Styling Im images, we have discussed this already. No? Okay. Uh, we'll go to this again. No? Some mga modals and templates. You must have used your own, own, own template already. Dito tayo sa div tags. No? Sa divs and CS tags and CS grids. Now we will later look at the concepts of a grid or of a flex box. And then... Uh, Look at the, no, no, the example on responsive web applications, okay? Using the flex box uh, property, no? a display property, okay? Okay. <clears throat> now, when you make, when you align your table, or rather your 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 uh, web page, you can use a table, no? You can uh, identify the width and rows, uh, width and height of your columns. So actually, when you uh, when you design yeah, the layout of your ano, of your web page, you can actually make use of a table. But uh, tables are limited. You can use you can use a table to although you can use a, a table inside the div, no. But you can generally use a table to become responsive, like a div is, or you can use it to be a container. Do you follow? No. Later we look at different types of handling or making. In handling containers okay so there's a complete guide no to css grids no at tricks.com okay so these are already supported no by browse browsers as of march 2017 so okay. 
Okay, so grids. So back by medyo hindi masyadong luma, no? Uh, in the past, we were just using tables. Okay, so grids can now be used, no? You can use uh, like this, no? Okay. So before we look at that, no? Let's define uh, what a grid container is, no? A grid container is actually just a uh, div, no? Which is a blank, a blank, a blank div, no? a blank division, no? which can contain anything, no? Other divs, no? Okay. Which you can use, by the way, to impose a property called display property. Okay? Do you follow? When you have a div, you can apply it a display property like a grid no and okay and subsequent properties will be applied to the container no? okay so the display grid property is the direct parent of all grid items no when you declare a we will take a look at the what a display property is later but siguro tingnan muna natin no? what what a display property is okay We'll just go back to this to cssfix.com. The display property. Okay. So in CSS, one of the rules that you can uh, specify that you can include in the different elements, no? which means this can be included in a P, in a header, in a grid, or rather in a table. I kasali bang table. Anyway, we'll look at that later. No, is the display property okay? So, for example, in we can we can apply a display property on a paragraph with an ID of e ex one. Okay, none. So the dif different. There are many properties. No, but the most common are inline block and inline block, and of course flex. No, flex box. We will define flex box separately. No. For the moment, we will just uh, identify the differences between a display inline block and inline block. Okay? Do you follow? No? So, nandito, no? What are the differences between inline, inline block, and display block? Before we run, run the examples, no? Before we run the examples in a W3 schools, let us know. Okay, inline. So, an inline pro display property is an element which does not have a height and width. So even if you specify, specify the height and width of a display, inline display, they will not be followed. Do you follow? Okay. Do you follow? So any height and width properties will have no effect on an inline display. So no matter whether you display the width no, and height, this, this will not have this will not have no no effect. No? So the display property of an inline, okay, uh, it, does it start on a new line? It, 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 okay. So anyway, no, uh, I think no. Uh, it's it doesn't start on a new line. Anyway, we'll we'll specify that later. No? So if you have a span, an anchor tag, or an image tag, no? that is the default uh, display property is in line. Do you follow? So if you want to define the height and width, you have to spend to, to change the display property to inline block or block. Do you follow? No. So, ito yung mga inline elements that are by default inline, no? the span, anchor tags, and images. Okay. So, EM strong I and small, so I for icon, no? yung ginamit natin sa font awesome, are inherently also inline. So, the next display property is called inline block. So, an inline block is a property which can use height and width. No? Do you follow? Okay. So here's an example. No? When you say display inline block, the width, the 1000 pixels and width and height will now apply. Okay. When you say an inline block. 
How about a block? No. So an inline, a block is like an inline block. It's on a new and inline. No. Which means that the main difference is it starts on a new line. Okay. So an um, inline will start on a new line, but a block will not start on a new line. An inline block will start on a new line because it's a combination of an inline and a block and a block. Okay. A block block starts on a new line and takes up the, the full width available. Okay, just like an inline. So that means that the block elements will occupy the entire width no? of the element. Okay. So the properties, no, rather the elements which have default block elements will be div, h1, p, li. Li is list, no, Our ordered list and section. So that's one of the main differences between a section and, uh, uh, by the way, pareho pala sila ng div, I'm sorry, no. Okay. So the, here's the main, no. The inline doesn't start on a new line and will have no width and height properties. It will just occupy in the current width of the of the div or the, con the container that's inside it. In like, I inline block is formatted just like inline, no? but it doesn't start on a new line. Hindi pala siya mag-start on a new line, no? but you can set the width and height. Okay, a block will start on, you, on a new line. No? So default inline pala will not start on a new line. No? Okay. And will occupy the full width available. So just like an, an inline, it will occupy the full width available. However, you can uh, set the width and height. Okay. They follow. So remember this, no? But inline, there's no, you cannot specify the width and the height. It doesn't start on a new line. But inline block, okay? It's formatted like an inline element. It doesn't start on a new line. No, It occupies the first line of what? Of whatever whatever is available okay but you can set the height width the block is like will start on a new line no but inline and inline block will not start on a new line it will just uh occupy or, or, or continue with the current element no? the element the block element will start on a new line so it's like an inline and a block with a break okay with a break with a br you know what a br is no a br tag is a break and in addition, you can set the, the width and the height. Okay. Any questions so far? So let's go back to the grid container. No? <clears throat> when, when you say a display grid, no? Display with the grid property, no? Uh, your layout will be divided into lines and rows and columns, no? Like a table. They follow? No? Like a table. Like if you will have this, okay, item one, item two, and item three, okay, okay, you will be you will be given no into like a table no. Ah, uh, bakit to lang isang ano lang example niya no. Okay. Anyway, let's go 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 through the properties. It's just like properties pala no. Terminology is Python no. Okay. When we say display grid is applied. Okay. It's a, the direct parent of all the grid items. No, it makes your container is a is a grid container like this. Here, no, okay. When you apply a display grid property, okay. okay. So terminology is apply no? What is a grid line? So this is a grid line, no? A line that makes up the structure of the grid. It can either be vertical or column. No? So this is a vertical grid line. This is a horizontal grid line. Okay. So this is also a grid line. No? It's a vertical grid line. What is a grid cell? A grid cell is like the intersection of a row and a column in a table. It's like a TD. Do you follow? The, the space between two adjacent rows and two adjacent columns is called a grid line. So it's like a TD in a table. They follow. So a grid line is a separator between uh, rows and columns. No, a grid cell is like a unit, okay, between the intersection of uh, uh, in the intersection between a row and a column. Okay, a grid track is like a row. No, 
space between two adjacent grid lines. No? So dito, no? Okay. As columns or rows, no? You can have a horizontal track or, by sorry, no? Horizontal track and a vertical track. No? So the total space run led by four grid lines is called a grid area. No? Okay. So four grid lines, no, ito. Four grid lines is like a grid area. This can also be a grid area, no? Sorry for the disturbance, no? Okay. So remember these technologies, no? Our terminologies, no? Uh, a grid container is a is a division which has a uh, display grid property a grid line is the separator between the different areas no? a cell is the intersection between a row and a column a track no is either vertical or horizontal track no? the space between two adjacent grid lines no? all you can think of them them as columns or rows grid area so these are the main main no uh, terminologies of a uh, grid. This uh, this happens when you say display grid property. No? So like a block, no, you will have a grid. You have an inline grid, and you will have a grid. Do you follow? The difference between an inline grid and a grid is like the difference between an inline block and a block. Okay, which means that an inline grid, both of them being inline. And grid can can have uh, widths. Wala pala tayong inline na display, no? You just have, uh, meron bang display property ang inline? We'll find that out. Inline ang, ang display, no? We'll find that out, no? But basta meron inline grid and grid, no? So a grid is like a block. An inline grid is like an inline block. Okay? Which means that the inline grid will not start on a new line. The grid will start on a new line, okay? But they both have widths and columns, no? widths and heights. They follow? Okay. Okay. So that's why we had a difference between inline, in, inline block and block because a block is like a grid. Okay. So ito. When you say display inline grid, Okay, display generates an inline level grid. Now it's like a, a grid, okay, which start which doesn't start on a new line. Okay. So when you say that container whose, whose display property is a grid or inline grid, no, I don't know. Uh, this this can be the two choices which you can I know we can you can choose, but there are other choices by the way, no. Do you follow? There's also flex or flex boxes, okay. Grid template columns defines the uh, this is a property of the of a grid, no? Grid template columns and grid tem template rows. Uh, this defines the columns and rows of the grid with a space separated list of values. Uh, what will I say? Example, dito, no? Can we look at this and no? let's let, let's try this in no? let's try this in uh, let's try this uh, in no? in W three spaces. Okay. And data, you know? how you lay out your web web page. I'm sorry. What's that? Let's edit the files. Let's 
let's rename this. Alik na. Pat dito ang mag-rename. Oh, I'm sorry. Alik na naman na. Uh, ay, nandito na pala ang files. We just have to rename this using this. Rename. Index 2. Then it's mawala. Then, uh, we edit this. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to run it in W3 spaces. Create a file. No? You can create a folder here, no? In, in case you need to create. By the way, it's it pala nagano. Where's the new file? Ito na natin mag-create. Eh? Ito na wala yung aking new file. Ayan. We'll rename this as uh, let's remove the style sheet first. Okay. Then we'll copy that. No? We'll make this a new index file. Di mabagal ngayon, no? Bagi rinayin ko na itong kanina. Sana na. What's this? Ito pala yung naging empty. So I have may have created it twice, so I have to delete this. this. And then I'll, I'll rename this. Nung pag-click ko kanina, I didn't recognize that it was created. No? Okay. And then let's edit this. Okay, nandito na. Copy this. Uh, and then let's let's apply that property. In styles. Lagyan ko na lang muna ng ano no? uh, style style tag. So you can see the so this applies to the display play grid. Let's let's use grid first. So run. So makita na natin kagad dito. What happened? Lagay tayo ng div. Paragraph. Kasi wala siyang ano. Wala ang text. So it doesn't show anything. It's 
Ayan. Do you follow? Okay. okay. So, hindi pa naman natin define yung layout ng grid. Okay. So, let's try, try inline grid. The property inline grid applies, no? Applies to the class container. Not to the class item, item 1. Okay. Okay. So, wala po silang difference, no? In this case, because we only have one container. Okay. Any questions so far? We'll have more examples later, no? Okay. It's, uh, is there an example? Here's an example, no? Read template columns. Let's run this here. I put the dot container in. So the dot container, save this. Okay. This grid item one, grid item two, grid item three. Bakit hindi nasali yung ano? Uh, template columns. The first, this is line two. Okay. Galing na, mo lang, na lang muna natin yung grid item three. Okay. Because so far, it doesn't apply. Because the example only uses the first two columns. Uh, yeah. What's it going to be? Sir, wala po na pasok yung mga paragraph tags inside sa divs. Yeah, yeah. Ang ano na wala, no? Yeah. Uh, wala yung closing div tag ng class. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dito siya sa loob. No? Dito ba? Tama ba? Dito sa loob. Okay. Ito rin, dito rin siya dapat sa loob. Ah, kaya ko na hindi. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, dapat nag, ano. Uh, kopya ko na lang ulit, no? Thank you for, ano. I am getting old. That's why, let me just copy this again. Napasok. Uh, now we don't have an end tab for our container, so we'll have to end. Okay. Eh, pala malik kanina na. Ang P dapat dito sa loob. This is P. End tab P. Item. Read item 1. Okay. Hindi na pasok kan di ba pinasok ko yan kanina? Ah no, yeah. Dapat dito. Read item 2. And then we'll have here. Eh, hindi pumasok sa ano. Hindi pumasok pumasok sa loob. Let's run this. Okay. Read item 1, read item 2, read item 3. Bakit hindi na ano? Okay. Uh, first, the first column is 40 px. Let, let, let's make this uh, 50. Okay, so naglaki na siya, no? Kanina kasi hindi nagkasya. First, let's, line 3, line 2. Okay. This run, if you have spaces, I think it will. Okay. Column four start. There's no column four anyway, no? In this example. Read template rows. Okay, 25%. 
row start, shall we say 50%, what will happen? This is the start row. Okay. So, naghaba lang siya, no? Naghaba ang start row. Okay. So, what's the arrangement, by the way, no? Ito yung una, track size. Okay, track size. The length. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, no? Track size. Kamali, I, I made a mistake. Can you test this yourself one by one? Okay. Template rows and template columns. So ito na lang, no? We'll copy this. This is a better example, I think. No? Dapat marami tayong ilagay na, na items, okay? Ba yung HTML natin? Let's find out, no? Okay. Uh, can we run this? Actually run this. Let's say we have how many? Uh, we have four columns. Okay. Maglagay tayo ng item 4. Ah, sorry. Item 4. Okay. Fifty px, fifty pixels each. Do you follow? You have four columns with fifty pixels. No, the, the rows are automatic. The first is okay. Tagalin mo na natin itong template areas, no? Pagang hindi siya kasale because our HTML does not specify, no? Okay, so you have four. Four columns, 50 pixels each, and the rows are automatically placed. Okay. We'll just proceed now. So, mas maganda yung examples ng, ano, ng W3, W3 schools. Okay. Column gaps. Uh, maglagay tayo muna ng line size, okay? Column gaps and row gaps. Okay, hindi natin makita. Ten and ten, ten px, I think, no? or five px, lang. Maglagay ba natin to ng borders? Okay. Maglagay ba siya ng border? Let's find out. No? It's a table. There's a default board, border. No? Wala siyang border. No? Okay. Gawin na natin. Ano? 20. So, 30. Uh, dapat 6. Let's have... Uh,
Let's remove this, okay? Para let's try kung spill spill over niya yung item 4. Okay? Bakit ayaw? Yan, okay? Do you follow? So, kung spill over niya, this our grid with four columns, or rather uh, three columns. So the fourth item now is on the second row. Do you follow? Now, if our let's reduce the row gap, shall we say to ten pixels? So naglapit siya, no? Let's say five. Bagal. So you have column gaps and row gaps. So you, you see the the no, the behavior of a grid. No, it the, the uh, it divides your area no into the defined column up. Uh, no, so uh, shall we make this two hundred na lang two hundred. Okay. Automatic ba siya pag ano? Okay. Ayan, naglaki na no. Diba? Di follow. So, uh, this is the display grid property. No? You can define the columns and rows. It's like a table. no? The grid is... Oh, sorry. Bakit nawala yung ating display? The grid is mainly used, the display grid property is used to lay out your web page. So, pwede mo ilagay dito yung certain items, no? Like, you can have a paragraph and an image. Can we do that na lang? Uh, we'll, we'll have our, ano, uh, our original, ano. So, W3 spaces, yung ating ginawang example, no? Let's put the the files there. The the in, the index with the. Uh, uh, Let me just copy this na. Ano hindi ito yon. Okay, ito ito na. Yeah, I'll just copy this na. I'll, I'll transpose, transpose this or transform this into a grid. Lagyan natin ng isa pang subject. Di palo. Uh, Bagal lang siya, no? Depending on your, ano? We'll copy this. Yan. So, nandito yung biology, no? Okay. Can we have a... Can we download a file? Uh... Palaki natin ito. Para mag spill over. Okay. Para mag spill over yung third column. So, kung saan ang maglabas yung grid item 3 dito sa baba. Ano? Tama na yun, no? 100px. Kasi gawin na lang ating second column, no? Do follow? Pabayaan muna natin yung grid item 4, no? 
Ayan. Buti nag-work yung ano, no? Ana, na, it works because there's a, a font awesome, no? Do you follow? So, the physics, we'll put it here. Grid item 2. Then we'll, we'll put the chemistry and grid item 3. The grid item 4 will leave it blank. So you, you can format your web page like it's a new, newspaper, no? Do you follow? So if you want to spill over the chemistry, you can de delete the third column, the, the third column there, no? So that it will spill over to the next row. Okay. Ayan, nandito na yung chemistry. Do you follow? Okay. Any questions so far? No, I, I'm now doing my layout using a grid with two columns no, and automatic rows. Okay. What will happen if you say the rows of 300px? So we nothing get in it, no? Auto kasi, no? So, halos ganun pa rin, no? It will make two rows. Okay? Do you follow? Two columns and two rows. No? What will happen if you make it like this? Ano, nag, nag, nag increase lang siya ng size, no? Do you follow? Di ba naglaki yung size? Ng, ano? Okay? So, the first row it is 300 pixels. What will happen if you make this 200 pixels? The first row. So nagliit, no? Hindi nagkasya. So we'll make the, the first row 250. And the second row, auto. I think it, it will default to auto, no? So, so. Okay. Okay. So for example, what will happen if we will make our first column? So anyway, the columns will be the same now. But there's a way to have three columns with different with uh, with different widths. No, we'll go to that no anyway later. Okay. Do you follow? No. We have a row gap of five pixels and a column gap of 20 pixels. Uh, go in a lot of pixels. Okay. Okay, so that's a display grid. No? That's a display grid uh, property. Mas maraming ano dito, mas maraming examples. No? So W3 schools, let's run this. No? Let, let's make it an inline. Let's find out what will be the difference if we'll make it an inline grid. Well, I can change because we only have one. No, we only have one uh, div. No, div which is container. Okay, inline grid and grid. Bagal na no? W three spaces ngayon. Maybe it's my internet. So we make this a block. What happens? I did mag apply itong grid, 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 no, no. This grid template columns and grid template rows will not apply on a block. Okay. Ayan, block lang kasi siya, no? Do you follow? It's a single block. So the difference between a block and a grid. Okay. Any question so far? So you really have to try this yourself, no? So you can lay out your make a layout of your web page, on the, especially on the first assessment. 
Sana may may example siya. Okay. My border. My contents. Let's let's put a border. Two pixels, solid blue. Will it no? Will it apply on the grid? Let's find out. And border will apply on the whole container. How do we make a border of a of a div? Okay, so maglagay tayo dito. Okay. Item. Okay. Galing muna natin tong border ng ano ng container. Sige, okay na yan. We just change the color, no? Yan. Okay? So we say red or gray na lang. There's no color picker sa ano. Walang color picker sa uh, in ano in uh, W3 spaces, but you'll have a color picker in ano. W rather in this VS code hindi makita solid paano nga mag merge ng ng borders how do we make merge borders so kulang yung ating row the first row is 250 pixels. We'll make this auto na lang. Uh, we'll make this 300. 3,000. Oh, Nakasya na siya. Na? Di follow. How do we merge borders? Border collapse. Okay, so dali natin muna natin yung color. Border collapse, collapse. Will it work on the divs? Okay, so. Dali. Close ko yung ating W3 spaces na. They are there because they are on a different div. No? Yet as a collapse because they are on the different divs, no container in isa yung isa item. Di na collapse. Okay. Di follow. Because they are on the different divs. Okay. What will happen if we separate them? Uh tangalin na lang natin yung div. Will happen. So para, para mawala yung border niya. Then it will not be on this container. Do you follow? So iba yung kanyang ano. It will not be on that uh, it will not be on that same cell. Okay, so to make cells, you really have to nest the divs. 
So okay. Okay. So depending naman yan sa inyo, no? How you can border collapse the different borders. Okay. Okay. Now later we will be using a different layout when we use uh, Bootstrap and W3. There are default classes for grids, no? Where you can uh, manipulate the uh, widths and the columns, no? Particularly of the no? of the different rows and columns. Pwede namang isang row, the three columns, the second row, two columns, no? Depending on how you lay out your, ano, your, uh, your grid. No? So we have column size, column gap. No? Wala na pala itong grid. The grid prefix is no longer, ano? Okay. Justify items, can we have that? Will this apply on a, on a grid? So centered, no? Centered. Okay. That's for alignment. This ap applies within cells of the, no? So we say justify. So the default is justify. Okay. You can write a line or you can, no? But this applies on the on the div container, not on the item, on the container item, not on the div item. Okay, this is okay. So we can have a, a separate uh, no, background, for example, for item two. Item dash two so background right. okay. This item two, no. So this uh item two is a uh, div which has both classes, no item and at the same time item 2 so it will inherit the properties of item and will have particular properties of item 2 you see that it has the same uh, properties of item except that it has a different background okay you follow you can put an image here no you follow of course you have to adjust the size wala pa akong image i haven't seen any i haven't downloaded it yet but you can you can put your images here. No? In your case, I think I suggest you have to put images. No? For example, you can put an image for biology here. You can put an image for physics no? next to the paragraph. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay. Well, let's look at the grids. No? Now let us let us consider grids. So display can be inline. Grid and inline grid. Okay, ganito. Ito, subukan natin ito, no? Here's an example. Maganda na ito kaysa ano na eh, W3 spaces na. So these are the grid elements, the display grid, the temp template columns, auto-auto. So three columns, all are automatic. There's a background color. Okay, for the grid item, no? So ito yung grid item, ito sila lahat, no? Okay? With a background color of 255, 255, this is red, green, blue, and opacity. No? Parang tra yung transparency. Okay? Do you follow? 
Ah, uh, ito. Uh, this is easy, no? Uh, we can copy this and put this in our W3 spaces. Pareho lang sila, no? But in W3 spaces, you can look at the actual, ano? The actual... Uh, So, ITC yata ito nalagay. Ano ko ba ito nalagay? Anyway, we'll just... Uh, we can just run the web page. Ito pala. Bakit ito? Yan. Okay. Do you follow? Okay, so this is the template now. There are three columns and the rows will automatically distribute. Okay, the background color and then the border. Now there, there's the merge. No? The grid. So what we did here is remove the border of the container. Okay, a container is the, the table and the grid item is like a cell in a table. Now for each ano, for each grid item we have a border of one pixel. Solid RGBA. Now that's the distribution of uh, this are all zero. So this uh, this is black. No zero is black. Remember no. So padding is inside no. The follow. But what will happen if I will put in grid paragraph no? Uh, why is there a one and a two? Dito, no? Now let, let me copy my ano, my instead of the item one here, I'll put my okay. So ganyan, no? They follow pareho pa sila, no? They follow. Wala akong link to support font awesome. I should have put it here. Ubus yung oras natin, class. No? But it's always like that. So anyway, uh, ang gusto kong gawin ninyo is the flex. This is grid. No? And find out. The good thing about the flex is it's uh, no, it's uh, it's like a grid. Flex box. No? It's like a grid but it's responsive. Kasi ito responsive ba ito? Let's find out. Responsive na siya. No? No, wala. It's not that it's not that response. Ano? I'm sorry, na. Kasi ano? Wala tayo dito tayo sa ano? Let's uh we run this. Let's just save this and then let me run this here. Find out if it's responsive. Where are responsive show? Do you follow? Which means that it, that it will adjust, na? It will adjust to the size of the display box or rather the device display whether it's a tablet a computer or a cell phone we follow any questions so far no so uh let us proceed to the other examples no okay uh, alam na natin yung grid saka inline grid so column gap alam na natin yan no try it Gusto ko makita yung example ng grid. Okay. So, ang item 1, you can start it at item 1. Gusto ko makita yung grid na different, ano. Okay. Different rows and columns. Like this, no? Let's try this. Okay. And put it in my W3 spaces. Okay. So, pwede natin... Uh, okay. 
we can now uh, change this na so we'll say my favorite subjects okay and then we could we could put the physics here the bio the, the biology wala lang naman on the main okay. then the physics on the right wala wala pa itong icons na so the font awesome will not work and then because i don't have the link the font awesome Anyway, lalagyan ko na lang. Ha? Footer. Okay. Sorry, Tim. Ayan. Do you follow? Do you follow? No, you can put a menu here. Okay. So here's the example. Uh... Item one is called the header. The grid area is the header. Grid area is a is another property, no? Okay. Let's look at grid area, no? So it just defines no? a grid's item size and location in a grid layout. Okay. So this is the header. This is the menu. And then uh, how did it assign a name? Ito, no? ito yung class kasi niya. Item. Okay. So grid area, when you say header, okay, it's on the, no, the properties. No? So, my area dito. Di follow. Where, how is my area defined? Nanap ko lang, no? Dito naka-declare, no? Tem template areas, okay? Item 1 is my area. But what uh, item 2 is not, they are not, no? They are not declared, no? Do you follow? Okay. So in this case, okay. This is how you define the uh, no? okay. header, 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 header. Header is on the top. Okay. Here are the different uh, no? uh, template areas. No? First, we have header, 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 and then main. Uh, let's look at the no? template areas. No? I'll put a, uh, a link na lang later na.
So a grid, a grid template area is used to define several grid areas. Yes, W3 schools better, it's not. Let's look for something in W3 schools. Ang maganda sa W3 schools is it has a try it right away, no? try it yourself. Okay. okay follow. Anyway, we're running out of time and we're not in flex box yet. So you try all the combinations, no? So anyway, uh, it's in 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 our you know, in our regular site. So you can lay out different different grid containers like this. No? Okay. You try the examples and on the different examples. No? Okay. Any questions so far? Wala nang akong regular. Now let's proceed na. So maraming combination sa grid na. So I cannot take them all up. No? So kayo nang bahala dito sa iba depending on how you use them. But so the grid, the display grid property is used to lay out your web page into different areas. No? There are examples in W3 schools. Okay. Uh, let's let's take let's discuss a little bit. Kaya nambala sa ano no sa uh, SAS. Okay. Examples on uh, flex box. No? What's a flex box? It's also one of the properties of a display. One of the a display one of the display properties. Here is. Wala na yung aking W3 spaces. Flex. Hindi nag-open. So, uh, a flex box is a, is a responsive, no? Is a, is, is a responsive grid layout. Okay. okay. One dimensional layout model. Okay. So it's a combination. It's like a grid which, which is flexible no? in both directions, which means uh, row or column directions. Okay. So Basically, one of the main properties of a flex box is called flex direction. Okay, so, uh, it's either row, row reverse, column, column reverse. No, so uh, let's we'll have an example here. Can we just copy this? Go here. Okay. So th these are the different, you know, these are the different uh, directions, no? Uh, row, row reverse, column, col column reverse, no? So when you say row, uh, items are included in the flex box horizontally okay so from left to right when you say row reverse items are distributed on the the text box from right to left okay when you say column items are distributed from top to bottom when you say column reverse it's from bottom to top okay so when you use the row as the main uh, main direction Okay. You can control the cross axis direction. When you say the main, uh, the flex direction is row, your cross, cross axis is column by default. No? Or you can also use column reverse. But when your main axis is column, 
your uh, cross axis is rho by default, no? Do you follow? Okay. So may, rho, ito yung rho direction, no? It is, this is This is the start, this is the end, no? We have rho. Okay. Can we try this? No. In our no. Let's try this here. And then our box. Copy this div and the body. So, running some div. We have a class called box and this place flex, no? So, okay. One, two, three, four, okay? So this is, this is row, the default is row, row, no? Can we change that, the flex direction? Okay. Flex direction. X direction ba? Flex direction is uh, let's let's try column. No? The default is row. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try this as row reverse. Medyo mabagal lang ang mga yun, internet. O, ito na. Ito siya nagsimula sa right. So, una yung 1, 2, 3, tapos yung extra. Nabaliktad na. What will happen if you say column reverse? Okay. So, mas flexible. A flex is like a flexible grid. No? Ayan. Nandito si, uh, it starts with 1, 2, okay, and then the extra. Okay, yung 3. They follow. Ito yung 3, no? Which has a BR and a BR. They follow. Did we try the column already? So, these concepts, no? Grid, grid and flex. So, una yung 1, 2, and then 3. They follow? Okay. Gamitin natin ito sa pagdating sa ano, no? Pagdating sa bootstrap, no? Start and end line. Let's wrap. You try this, no? Okay. Then we'll, uh, we'll copy that. No? The style. So 
i-wrap niya na. Okay. What will happen if you don't have a flex wrap? So anyway, you'll test this yourself na lang. Ubus yung oras natin dito. Ang dami niyan, ano? You try these combinations, okay? This is already in our, ano? In our, uh, in our regular site, okay? Basic concepts of a flex box, okay? Any questions so far? So, you explore this yourself, okay? Kaya na talagang bahala dito because uh, depends on what element you use in your, ano, in your website. Okay, so the two important elements no, for layouting are grids and flex boxes. A flex is like a flexible grid. Okay? So it, it has more coming and, and it's responsive. It's more responsive than uh, no than grids. Because a grid is usually not or so vertically, you know, vertically flexible. Okay, so we have a, a site here. I have a reference that outlines no, how you can convert your grids into flexible grids, no? making uh, flexible websites, or rather a responsive website. So by default now, nowadays, no, if you make a website, you must make it responsive because we are now browsing, uh, people are browsing uh, 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 addresses no, on different from different devices. Okay. So a responsive website is a website which web page which adjusts its presentation no, depending on which device on the device that is being used whether it's a computer, it's a tablet, or a cell phone. No? We will have more responsive no? classes when we go to Bootstrap. Uh, at this point, no, uh, you can build your own responsive website, but that will be very complex. No, That will be, that will be very complicated. What simplifies matter is to use uh, built-in classes in uh, bootstrap.css and w3.css. Merong mga responsive classes doon. Okay? We'll take that up next year, no? Bootstrap and W3. Now, we can discuss, no? Hindi talaga natin ma-discuss lahat, no, ng CSS. Because in other uh, in other courses like dun sa ano, humanities, they have uh, no, media applications. They discuss HTML and CSS in just one sem in one whole semester. Okay, do you follow? Dito sa atin, uh, we can only discuss no, this in one grading because we still have other topics to, uh, no, we have other topics to consider. So you explore them yourself. No? You need to do this because you will still repeat this in your other courses. Okay. Any questions so far? No? Okay. So who has done flex? Some of you, I believe, no, have experience on using flex and uh, grids. Okay. So uh, January 17, no, ang deadline. At January 6, ang deadline. Okay. So in between January 6 and 17, we will be discussing Bootstrap and W3. So that ho hopefully, no, by the middle of the midterm period we'll have we can discuss jquery do you follow jquery type javascript you know you have you already have an introduction no? we'll just uh, discuss this briefly and then we'll have a little time to go no so jquery and react node js and js Ex express js okay we'll be doing in-depth more in-depth no javascript more detailed JavaScript programming. Okay. Okay. Any questions? So January 6th and deadline. Okay, everyone. So you do this slightly, no? Little by little. Any questions so far? Sir. So 
with regards sa PA1 sir sir pare makas so hindi na ako mag-check na uh, do, do I need I don't think I need to check the attendance again okay so see you next year everyone okay thanks for coming um, excuse me sir are you still there uh, yes sir I'll yes, end sir. the meeting na no I'll upload the recording hello sir bye everyone hello sir, sir. Uh, wait lang,